Hello guys, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video for so long. I was sick for a couple of weeks and it knocked me on my butt and then I got real busy with work and stuff. Anyway, this is a hand forged leaf that I made out of steel with my hammer and tongs and gas forge and anvil, etc, etc. My next video will hopefully be a video, a tutorial on how I did that. Um, this one that you're watching right now is on the pair of armadillos that I came across when I was hunting deer the other day. And I love armadillos. They're so much fun. They will let you get close to them partially because of their really bad eyesight. I don't know how bad it is, but I, I've read it's not nearly as good as most animals. And... So that makes them a lot of fun to just follow around in circles. And that's what I did th on this day. I just followed these armadillos around as they did their thing, kind of interrupting them and be making a nuisance of myself. But I'm a human being, so I can do that to the other poor animals of the forest. But yeah, I I followed them around and pestered them and try, uh, tried to pet them, and, but... They didn't seem to really care for that much. They didn't mind it, but it, it seemed like I was getting on their nerves. They didn't try to bite or anything, but they they they'd start to kind of scurry off, if that's the right word, scurry or trot off. When I started to scratch on them, the one didn't mind it at first. It was kind of overtaken by curiosity, I think, and didn't view me as a threat. Most animals, when I do this, they don't view me as a threat at all. They'll let me get real close. But when you're following a skunk around in circles and it raises its tail, you freeze. A possum will kind of turn around and look at you and start growling. and You don't... You freeze and stop and wait for the possum to stop growling. Because cause it... Or a possum will try and run also, and then you run to keep up with it, and then it realizes it can't outrun you because they're fat and slow animals, possums are. And so it'll turn around and you about trip over it if you're running fairly close behind it, and then it starts to either kind of stare you gr down and show its teeth or start growling at you too. But eventually they'll stop doing that, and they'll they'll stop paying any attention to you unless you try and scratch on them but eventually they'll let you do that but a skunk you can it takes a whole lot less time than a possum and an armadillo even less time than that as you can see you about just have to walk up to an armadillo from my experience especially in this video and then a skunk you just walk up you get within about I don't know 30, no, not 30, about 10 yards, 30 feet, and <clears throat> it'll raise its tail, and you can, you can inch your way closer a foot at a time, and it'll get used to you being closer and closer. It takes a couple hours for you to inch your way closer, but eventually you'll just be falling right along behind him, and then a possum takes even longer than that most of the time, because they, a skunk... It's doesn't really have any fear of anything, because it, it stinks so bad. It has that built-in weaponry that'll burn your eyes and burn your nose and tastes horrible if it sprays in your mouth or if you inhale it through the mouth. It tastes and smells, burn your lungs, burns everything. It's not deadly, but it burns, and so they've got that built-in weaponry which has caused them to not really have any predators or threats uh, to speak of and so they're not really afraid of anything so they'll let you get pretty close to them fairly easily and armadillos don't have any or very few natural predators probably because of their shell it doesn't offer a whole lot of protection because they roll one on, ba on its back and the stomach's real soft, but it makes them harder to eat. You can't really <coughs> chew on 
the shell and it's harder to get the bone in our an animal with the bones and everything in there it, it just makes it more complicated so animals don't eat it that's my assumption I don't know why they really don't have any natural predators but I was actually this is the first time I've gotten this close to armadillos they're becoming a lot more common around and I, I was surprised that it was so easy to get so close to them it's harder harder with skunks and yeah I know you're gonna yell at me for rabies but I've I've been bitten by skunks and it drew blood I've been bitten by possums and yes I know possums eat dead stuff and it drew blood but I, I think the possum I got bit by was on a main diet of our cat food and table scraps that we were feeding our cats at the time. I don't think it had had a roadkill meal for a couple months. I think we were its main source of food when we fed our cats. So, <clears throat> And I was just messing with it and I tried to scratch on it before it was tame enough to scratch on. And yeah. And no, just because I do this stuff doesn't mean you need to do this stuff or should do this stuff. It's a really bad idea for someone who didn't grow up doing it and not listening to their parents. And I have been bitten by animals like this, and it could have given me a disease, especially the possum. Could have given me a disease of some sort that could have killed me. Because I never really told anybody. I didn't. I was more afraid of getting a lecture for getting bit than I was a dying obviously and that's that's my personality I'm not I have a very bad sense of self-preservation but I don't like lectures so <clears throat> I didn't tell anybody about that and I've been bitten by I had a pet pack rat once that I got bit, bit by and pack rats are awesome they are fun I had him so tame and I didn't I didn't keep him in cage. He was just in our chicken pen. had a had a kind of a nest under the egg box, and he didn't eat our eggs. We still gathered eggs every other day or so, because we had one hen that was laying semi regularly, and we gathered eggs every day or other day sometimes. But <clears throat> um, I had it so tame in about hop into my hand when I held it down and went out to play with him. And he'd ride around in my big old coat and crawl through the sleeves and stuff about like a pet squirrel. I've, I've never had a pet squirrel, but I've had a pet pack rat. I've heard about people having pet squirrels, so my pack rat was kind of like I would assume a squirrel would be. <coughs> anyway, don't do that regardless of all this stuff I'm telling you and how easy it is. Don't do it at home. Don't do it by yourself, kids. Because <clears throat> I very well could have died from any of my minor scratches or injuries from these animals. And I have no training at all. Just self-taught. And even though this armadillo's letting me scratch his head with... And I'm obviously kind of annoying him. I've become made a nuisance of myself. But he's not scared, but... I made a nuisance of myself. Even though he's letting me get this close to him, that doesn't mean the wild armadillo in your neighborhood is going to do the same without biting or scratching you. And, by the way, armadillos can carry leprosy. That's just your fun fact, but it's kind of like it's actually transmitted disease. It has to be contracted from bodily fluids or poop or something like that. It can't be like saliva or blood or pee or poop it has to be contracted that way and it's really slow to develop and they do have a cure now it takes a long time to cure but they they can cure it now if you'll pay the doctor bills yeah that's a good example of a <coughs> reason you don't wanna cause a bite from an armadillo if it drew blood which it likely wouldn't cause armadillos don't bite very hard would <coughs> More than likely, if the armadillo had rabies, which at the most, only 20% of the armadillo population has rabies. That's the most that was ever found in a study or survey or census or whatever that was taken, I read online. 
that it was at the most 20% of the population. And at the least, 5 is what I read of recent surveys. And there has never been a survey in Kansas, which is where I live. But yeah, I could have still gotten bit by one of them today, or on this day, that I was out there, and contracted um, rabies, or leprosy, or salmonella, because I've been bit by a lot of reptiles that probably any of them could have had salmonella, and I'd be <coughs> wishing I hadn't, because salmonella is Salmonella is really bad, and you don't want to catch salmonella. It can have you on your ass for, or butt for, excuse my French, on your butt for months, and not just a couple weeks like I, the flu had me. And that was, a, I usually don't get sick. That was really bad. I was on my butt for a long time, and really on my butt. You don't want to catch that. But yeah. I'm crazy, and I have a very bad sense of self-preservation. Don't do what I do. Just learn that these animals aren't the um, vicious monsters that your society has taught you to believe. The wild animals are not wild heathens. It's man that's the monster of the world. I I even, even Christians, if you're Christian, which I am, believe that Adam and Eve were the ones who took the bite of the apple and <clears throat> brought sin into the world. It's not on the animals. and It's not an animal's fault that people have to eat animals or animals have to eat each other, some of them. Oh, that's a whole other deal, though. Why am I rambling on? It's late. That's why I'm rambling on. It's, it's real late, and I'm not good at this, I just say whatever comes to mind. <clears throat> but yeah. It's a lot of fun, but you shouldn't do it at home. Just watch me do it. And laugh at me if I post a video where I get a finger bit off. Because that could happen to a snapping turtle. I have a scar from an alli- well, not an alligator snapping turtle. I have a scar from a snapping turtle that was buried in the mud that I didn't even see. But I grabbed it by the head and it bit my finger and I went to the emergency room and had it glued back together. <clears throat> it almost took the tip of my finger off. Pat just It was just past the last um, knuckle on my ring finger that was bit and I almost lost the tip of my ring finger when I got bit by that snapping turtle. But yeah. There is dangerous. What I'm doing here is dangerous, and don't do it at all. And yeah, I am pestering the hell out of this poor armadillo. He's not scared, but he's very annoyed after I followed him around for 15 minutes. How would you like it if a alien that you had no idea of its way of life or what it was thinking or anything was following you around in its spaceship <coughs> for for 30 minutes. <laughs> How would you feel if that happened? And I've done that. I've followed possums and skunks around for that long. And birds, if they don't fly off. Birds, I think it was the same bird. But it probably wasn't the same bird. It was probably several different birds. Several different, like, finches or sparrows that I was following around that one time. I don't know. I just got... I'll get the wanderlust and... Just go do stuff like this. And is a miracle I'm not dead. So yeah. I'm probably going to post this video and you'll just laugh at me and laugh at me and laugh at me. Because I'm funny and I ramble. But a lot of people get a kick out of this, I think. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Because I don't want to force anything on anybody. If you really like my video, though, please like and subscribe, because it'll do my heart good. Thank you, and good night.